Today we're dining at a restaurant I usually only have after a 3 a.m. walk of shame. That's right, Denny's is on the menu today. I have my lovely wife with me. Say hi, lovely wife. Hi. Gorgeous! Um. And today we are gonna see whether or not this is palatable food at anything other than the wee hours of the morning. Join me on this goddamn journey. What's going on folks, it's your boy Stefan Johnson back here with another star studded food review. If you're new here every week, I bring you food review, voiceover, and comedy content. If you like the way any of that sounds, hit that subscribe button, hit that bell notification, and join me on this debacle of a journey we're going to join today. Denny's, it's like, it's, it's divisive. Some folks say it's an all-American diner, some folks say it's less than last resort food. Today we're going to see if whether or not it's worth your hard-earned money. Wife of mine, have you ever had Denny's? Okay, what's your opinion on Denny's? I like Denny's. You like Denny's? I love Denny's. Okay, so she loves Denny's. I'm like, eh. I'm like, eh. You know what I mean? There's one literally down the street from me, and I've never had it before. Um, that one, particularly. So we'll see if it tickles the balls or not. Do you think it'll tickle your balls, wife? Uh, I, I guess. I think you, so. She, actually, she's not used to this type of <laughs> vocabulary from me. Let's get started. This is like the home of casual-ass breakfast, and it's never even crossed our minds. We, we know it's there, but we're like, you know what? We'll probably just pass. You know, it's like, I don't know, what, what, where do, where do we usually go to breakfast? If we ever do breakfast, where, where do we usually go? Um, pretty much would be like the local spots. Though. Like, local, um, local spots for breakfast. Like that one spot like you love, like that one little spot you like, what is it called? The fries. Oh, you're talking about the yours truly. I love their lots of fries. The for yours truly. Mm. It's all right. It's not amazing. I love the not so fries. Eh, they're not so good. Ha! <laughs> ha! That's why I call them not so fries. They're not so. You get it? Because they're not so, and they're not so good. Terrible. She loves that like stuff that's not really good. She tries to be like a rebel. She tries to be like like different, like stuff that's not really good. I love you. Case in point. Mm. Case in point. <laughs> yeah. I guarantee you she's gonna want like chicken tenders because that's like all she like look at me I see out on peripheral like giving me like death stare she'll get chicken tenders everywhere we go or she'll look for the equivalent of chicken tenders like if we go to a spot and they only have like like fish sticks she'll get fish sticks I won't get fish sticks fish sticks I will get mm -hmm. fish and chips mm -hmm. that's fish, what and, I'll get. fish and <laughs> chips yeah she'll get fish and chips whatever equivalent we were in fucking um Vegas and I think we were at the Eiffel Tower restaurant and she was like, I wonder if they have like I chicken strips here. That. We I were somewhere we were somewhere that. extravagant as fuck. I did not and say that. it was either Eiffel Tower or Gordon Ramsay spot or it was I, w I would say a Chinese spot, but it was one of those few ones. No. Or we were somewhere either LA or New York and we were in some extravagant spot. No, it maybe it was um Salt Bay spot, Nurse Rhett. And she tried to get chicken tenders. And I literally just looked at her and I was gonna let her order. I was gonna live her I was gonna let her live her life. But I was disappointed. And I think she saw the disappointment in my eyes and she changed her order. No? No. No, she's not because you know that's true. I she never eats her food either. We're going to go here. <laughs> okay, yeah, we're going to talk about it. She was like, we're going to go here. She's going to order like a stack of pancakes. She's going to order like six, seven pancakes. Eat half of one. I'll say no, that's for later. And it'll sit in the refrigerator for like a week. No. Okay. I'm going to take it to work. Right, and if on. I do save it for later, it don't mean that I'm not going to eat it later. It's a later. She didn't have to be starving. I would think she had a tapeworm. If she finished her food right now, some, we're taking her to the um, urgent care because she got some kind of parasitic virus helping her consume this food. All I smell is coffee and potatoes. It's lovely. Yeah. These restaurants fall into the trap of trying to do so many things and they don't end up doing anything perfectly. Yeah, the Cheesecake Factory has a menu that's about 17 pages long. Therefore, they can't, one, you can't keep all that stuff in stock and back and keep it fresh. 
you know what I mean. So the quality kind of wanes from that alone. And then you can't expect a couple of cooks to keep in mind how to cook 452 items and expect each one to be, you know, test kitchen perfect every single time. I think I'm gonna try their mac and cheese brisket skillet. I think I'm gonna do the Philly cheesesteak omelet. Philly cheesesteak omelet. I'm proud of you. And I think I'm gonna try the French crepes. The only thing I'm waiting for is the omelet. It'll be ready by the time I walk in. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. That looks. That looks pretty depressing. So the brisket mac and cheese was kind of just one dimensional. All I tasted was cheese and salt in the macaroni. And the brisket was crispy, which is kind of nice, but mostly weird. I, I wasn't expecting that. And the crepe was like eating a sliced sponge. I, I was not digging this at all. And then like the zombie strawberries just falling apart. I, 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 didn't, I didn't eat any of that in my life. The Philly cheesesteak omelet doesn't blend well together with just like an omelet. The egg, it just didn't work. I, I can see if it was over potatoes, it would have worked, but not with the egg. And and also it was just, it was bland. There was no seasoning. And as for the pancakes, they, they didn't taste fresh. They were a little warm, not hot pancakes. Ain't that what you do? That's what I do. <laughs> Our table, it's broken. I got all that. Uh, I think it's safe to say average at best. What do you think, babe? I wasn't happy. No. The crepe was like spongy and like the, I don't know, the, the whole mac mac and brisket was okay. How, what, was, what was going on with your food? It just wasn't good. No? No. Not at all? No. Not even a little bit? The cheese was nice. The cheese. The cheese was the best thing about the meal. All right, folks. Well, I appreciate you joining me on this road. Um, go ahead and hit some things around my head. I love you. Um, folks, I've been me. You continue to be you, and I will see you soon.